Welcome to Freshly Flanimated. A question about foreshortening in flash animation and specifically in the context of smart magnet rigs has popped up multiple times, regardless of the fact that we've uh, discussed it multiple times in uh, various articles on our website and in uh, many videos we've shown how to add variations of limbs, obviously facial features and so on, and there are no differences between these but uh, because it still seems to be somehow a grey area, it uh, is probably worthwhile dedicating a special video to this. It will only be a short video, but uh, let me just point you to the places where foreshortening is mentioned on our website. So the classic twin workflow article, which is more than 10 years old now, mentions foreshortening three times obviously in the areas where we discuss how to rig limbs the invisible force measures foreshortening in the context of tweening magnet targets and there is a video that uh, specifically demonstrates these uh, processes and then uh, again in the rig architecture article foreshortening is mentioned in the context of limbs and here again we see examples. Now, what is foreshortening? It is the perspective changes of length when objects are pointing towards the eye or toward the camera. If we take this lower arm here as an example, this appears with its full length because it is uh, parallel to the plane of vision, while this lower arm points somehow towards us and it appears to be shorter. In uh, these other cases, this lower arm points towards us and is foreshortened, while this one is not. Let's look at some other examples here. This leg here is not foreshortened, while this one pointing toward the camera, the thigh, is foreshortened and appears much uh, much shorter it applies to this lower leg here as well i'll zoom in onto these robots to see better so how is this achieved let's look at a simple example first here we have uh, our little uh, test robot and i've set up just a very very simple example which goes like this so the arms and the upper leg go foreshortened as they are animated now let's double click and look at what's uh, inside this upper leg symbol here we have a bunch of frames inside so it's uh, actually a shaped wind animation from frame 1 to frame 7 and as you can see this is animated to go from a full length thigh to a foreshortened thigh a cylinder that points uh, toward us this can be played in sync with the animation on the external timeline and the result is this the same thing is done for the lower arms here we have this animation achieved with shape twins and the arm appears as if it's pointing towards us uh, by revealing the side that was uh, initially facing away from us and again this animation is played in sync with the animation on the external timeline another important thing to note is that uh, when we foreshorten a limb if we pay attention to this magnet target it has been tweened 
so that uh, the location of the magnet target always uh, coincides with the point where we would like the next element in the rig to snap. So this will allow for proper cleaning up or if we need to choose a specific frame we can always refer to this frame and the snapping will occur exactly as we would like it. So if we refer to frame 5 in this frame here, so let me just dial back and choose a, a different frame. So this is first frame and this is an in-between frame and press the Smart Magnet Joint uh, shortcut button, you'll see that the next element in the chain snaps exactly where we want it to snap. Now let's look at uh, this robot and what's uh, inside his arms and legs. Here is the upper arm and we have a full range of frames. These ones are supposed to face away from us and these ones are supposed to face toward us. The same thing applies to the lower arm facing toward us and facing away from us. So on the outside we can choose any of these frames and we can come up with uh, various poses as I will show you right now. For this part I would like to foreshorten this. I'll choose one of these. So a couple of frames further and now I can snap and I can choose a different hand. Now let's uh, do something with uh, the leg as well. Foreshorten this one a little bit and then make this one face away from us. So foreshorten it in the opposite direction and then snap. And choose a foot that matches this kind of pose. Well, we'll need to rebalance the character a little bit because uh, now he's standing on one leg so I will just drag the torso in this direction and here we can look at uh, one more example just double click and look at this character within the arm we have the full length arms and then we have four shortened versions of the limb to choose from. But if we zoom in, we'll uh, notice that the magnet targets are always where we need them to be. So if we go to this frame here, just to use it as an example, and imagine that we would like this arm to point a little slightly more toward us, let me just create another keyframe here. We can choose a foreshortened frame for this. Let's uh, choose this frame. This, this is the difference, right? And then we can snap the hand. Or if we like, we can choose a different version of the hand. Maybe this one. And we can pose slightly um, differently, of course. You can see the difference between the more foreshortened and the non-foreshortened version. So if this is combined with the pose change and of course the in-betweens, shall I do a little bit of something here? Maybe. Just a little change in the angles and there you go. This is pretty much all. 
I will include a section from an older video where I show exactly how the twins can be done for the uh, magnet targets, but uh, the principles of adding frames for foreshortened limbs should be very clear. There is no difference between adding variations for a hand, for example, like we have a bunch of hands here. There is no difference between adding frames for the hand and adding frames for the arms or the legs. All you need to do is make sure that the magnet targets are positioned where you need them so that the next element in the rig always snaps to where you want it to snap. Let me just show you why would you want to twin a magnet target. Imagine that you would like to have a foreshortened version of this um, upper arm. You can create uh, a keyframe and then create the foreshortened part of your artwork, shape twin it, and you will have all the in-betweens. And then with the magnet target, all you need to do is just position it where it should be and classic twin the magnet target. So now all those in-between states are also covered because the magnet target matches the artwork, right? If we go outside and create a, a, just a temporary keyframe and pose with Kineflex, let's just uh, come up with some pose and then choose a foreshortened version of this limb. If we try to chain select and snap, the lower arm will snap because again, at this frame, which we are seeing, the magnet target is positioned where we want it to be positioned. Snapping works as long as the magnet targets are where they should be. Freshly Flanimated animated.